Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to day 21 of our 30 day Ashtanga Yoga Challenge for beginners. So today we're going to focus on a posture called Trianga Mukhakapada Paschimottanasana, which is a bit of a mouthful. And it's uh, one of the postures in seated sequence where you may need the use of a brick. I certainly need the use of a brick in this posture. So do make sure you have something uh, you can use to level out your hips if necessary, if required. So we'll begin as always with the opening chant. Take a few moments to feel grounded, whether you're seated or standing. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra, connect with the breath, connect with the body. Take a breath in. Om. Bande Gurunam Charna Ravinde Sundash Satsva Sabara Bode Neshte Se Jankai Kai Mari Samsara Hala Hala Muha Shantye Abahu Purushikara Shanka Chakrasi Tarinam Sahasra Shvarasam Shvetam Pranamani Patanjalim Om. Coming to Samastitihi, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, come, inhale, lift the arms up. Dve, exhale, fall forwards, so we to bend the knees. Trini, inhale, lift the heart space, hands stay grounded. Chakvare, exhale, lower the body. Again, you can bring the knees down. Pancha, inhale, back bend of choice, see what's suitable today. Sha, exhale, down the dog. One, you want to begin to walk the dog easing into this first sun salute. Two, relax the head and shoulders, establish your dristi and your bandas, your breath with sound. Three, I mean, seated options, all fours options, just relax the head. Four, And five, look forward up onto the toes, bend the knees, supta, inhale, step, jog or jump, ashtau, exhale, fold forward, navad, inhale, rise up, and exhale, samasitihi, and again, ekam, inhale, dve, exhale, fold, trini, inhale, with the heart space, Shatvare, exhale and lower. Pancha, inhale, drop the shoulders. Sha, exhale, downward dog. One, settle into the breath. Two, three, slow the muscles of the legs. Four, feel free to bring the knees down at any time. Five, look forward. Inhale, come through, sutta. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, rise up. Exhale, samastitihi. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, sit back. Remember, palms can be floating. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, legs back and lowering. Run your options, elbows in. Inhale to lift, lift the heart space. Exhale to dog. Right leg, find the left heel. Inhale, come through. Palms touch, but they don't have to. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to lift. Good. Exhale to dog. Left leg. Inhale, left leg. Palms touch. Keep the hips square. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog. One. Focus on the breath. Two, strong breathing, three, good, relax the head, four, find the muscles of the leg, and five, 
Look forward. Sukta. Inhale. Press into the shoulders. Left elbow jump. Ashtau. Exhale. Inhale. Sit back. Palms together and lift. Exhale. Samasisi he. We'll take a vinyasa to trianga. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, legs back and lowering. Inhale to lift. Exhale to door. So coming into triangle, step job or jump through to seated. And initially stretch the legs out. So have your brick to hand. Take the left leg back. And then if you find that you're uneven and tipping over, you slide your brick underneath the right glute. Now, if taking the leg back is problematic for your knee, I'd like you to just stretch the leg all the way out of the equation. You might need extra support underneath the back of the knee also. So just see what you need. So that's an option. Don't trouble your knees. If this is comfortable for your knees are drawing towards each other. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, plant the hands. One. So your drishti is the big toe. You just take this to wherever you can. Two. This is easy for you. You can take the size of the foot. Now there is a slight uh, bending of the back in this posture. Three. Think about lifting up and over first before collapsing. If it's easy for you, you can release the forehead towards the shin or not. Four. And keep the line of the spine and stay up here and stay happy. Steady breathing, four and a half. Settle the breath, see where you can soften. Keep the bandits engaged. Five, inhale, look up. Exhale, release. So from here, you can take the leg back, shift the grip over to one side, back into vinyasa or a seated vinyasa, lower the body. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog. Triangle Mukhakapada Pashimottanasana to the opposite side. So right leg bends back, left leg forward. Again, level out the hips if you need to. If you're not using a brick, another option is to take the left hand out to the side to stabilize and fold forward from there. So if you're not using a brick, you can stabilize using the hand instead to even you out. Make sure you're not sitting on the heel, so you sit between the heels, and that really is what can lead to the asymmetry. So I definitely need this. If you don't, that's fine, but don't sit on the heel. Sit between. Good. Entering. One. Grow the chest towards the big toe in the first instance. Good. Two. Soften your drishti. Gaze at the big toe as if it's really interesting. Three. Relax the shoulders. Again, if this is easy, feel free to take it deeper if you wish. Well, this is a beginner's class for no strain. Find the middle path. There's no rush. Five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Again, we have another vinyasa or seated vinyasa. So remind you of the seated vinyasa. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. And exhale, here we arrive for the final three postures. Move the brick out of the way. If you've been using one, you'll know this by now. Baddha Padmasana, arms behind the back. No lotus, half lotus or full lotus. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take the toes if you're in lotus, fold forwards. One. Pinocchio Drissi. Two, find the waves of breath. Three, four, remember I'm counting a period of time, not your breaths. Five, so find your own rhythm. Six, seven, fold as far as seems reasonable. Eight, nine, keep your eyes open, ten, squeeze the pelvic floor, 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale to Padmasana, straight lines of energy. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chin to chest. One. Step into the breath. Two. Remember the butterfly wing grip. That's it. Three. So expend as little energy as possible. Four. Focus on the breath. Five. Make sure you're sitting tall. Just a little dip of the chin. Six. Seven. Eight. Same just stay. Keep your focus. Nine. Ten. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. You know what's coming next. Bring the hands to the hips. Utplutihi. Inhale, exhale. Lifting. One. Two, if you can't lift, engage. Three, squeeze everything in. Four, do really well, stay in the game. Six. Seven, stay there. Eight. Nine, stay up if you can. Ten, exhale, release down. Good, ease out the wrists. We got a final vinyasa to freedom or seated vinyasa. Take the legs back and lower the body. Inhale to lift. Exhale to duck. Inhale, come through. Exhale, lay all the way down into your shavasana. Open the palms. Take a big inhale. Exhale. And again, big inhale, exhale, last one, big inhale, exhale, dropping down into the sea of prana you've created for healing and rest for a short time. If you wish to stay longer, feel free. Just press the pause button. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. Moving the head from side to side as you bring movements to fingers and toes. And then take a long inhale, stretch. Exhale to let go. Bending the knees and the elbows, have a squeeze in until you're able to roll to one side. Pause for a moment of gratitude, thankfulness for this practice. Helps us to feel better. And then slowly leave yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting tall, lengthen the spine, lift the heart space, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice. And inhale, lift the prayer hands up. Exhale to center. Namaste. So thank you for practicing with me on day 21. Woohoo! Doing really well. I hope you can join me for the rest of the challenge. We're leaving there. Take care. Have a great day.